Welcome home. This is Audio EXP for the 21st of October and the episode title is This Isn't a Holiday Yet. Scandal Game Labs are in the spotlight this month as voted for by patrons. The interview with TA Gray of Scandal is up and TA worked in a law firm before stepping into RPG publishing. In this interview he says something remarkable. He says, Watsy has never been overtly litigious. That's probably true, although Geek Native has had trouble, and TSR was legendary for their attacking lawyers. Mind you, I think he's right, as weird as that seems. Now, in Friday's RPG News Summary, I mentioned that Team Geek Native was safe, despite Storm Babette. That was a bit melodramatic. Look, it felt intense here on the coast, but compared to elsewhere in Scotland where people died, you know, it was nothing. Look, sorry about that. The most considerable risk this weekend was that this podcast would be late. Gronren and I are back from Mimi's Bakehouse in the Water of Leith and a Halloween high tea where a gazillion spooky calories were wolfed down. And then, yes, I filled that up with a bottle of wine. It's a first world risk, I know. And it reminds me that I've not looked ahead at the festival schedule and where it clashes with routinely itemised or the audio ESP podcast. Hopefully we'll be okay, although I know we're both due for a tour of Edinburgh Castle, lit up to be the Castle of Lights on one Friday. It's not a holiday yet, but we have started the year-old tradition of the 12 masks of Halloween on the blog. We kicked off with the mammoth chomping spider, and I nearly didn't post it. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's a glorious indie creation. It's incredible. It's a spectacular mask, but it's also scary. I worried it would trigger people. Now, it should have been worried about a hail satan maybe but i wasn't our friends at sneak entry are launching a new range and it's a full-on occult inspired gimmick it's a devil bunny it's inverted crosses and zero sugar the creative agency must have had a load of fun with that one by the way i think it's better to ask is sneak worth it well it's hard to say look i don't think it boosts your gaming ability but I do think it's a hard-hitting multivitamin in drink form. And when I have some, that's why I have it for. Now, if there was one type of geek that I would talk to about health and attention to duty, it wouldn't be gamers, it would be cosplayers. That's because I don't have the skill or the devotion or the attention span to do what they do. And that's why I was staggered by Brondon's piece on Polaris, where nearly 500 cosplayers took the world record for volume. They had TikTok as a sponsor, a clever move by the Chinese app. And by the way, Geek Native is on TikTok, and perhaps that's where you're listening to this. And of the end of this week, our social media accounts include Blue Sky as well. That means we're on Telegram, Discord, Mastodon, X, Threads, Facebook, Instagram, Google News, Pinterest, Apple News, SoundCloud, and email. Oh no, before you ask, we won't go through the whole Audio EXP Geek Native podcast without talking about RPGs. Global Press released their SRD for Project Black Flag this week, except of course it's the BFRD, or Black Flag Reference Document. You may have thought that Project Black Flag was the name of the project and games like Tales of Valiant sprang from it. I guess it's not quite straightforward as that, as the Black Flag is a brand that will be more immortal than that, which is why we have a reference document to govern third-party usage. Another, and possibly quirky story that I need to cover this week was the 12 Days of Triple Xmas from Phoenix Grey and Lewd Dungeon Adventures. Yes. It's an RPG in which adult acts are needed to progress the adventure unless you're playing the 5e version. Now, I fully expected some backlash. 
but I got none. And saying I was prepared for it, and I was all dressed up with nowhere to go, but I don't think dressing up is quite in the spirit of the 12 Days of Triple Xmas. Now, another and possibly controversial piece was to look at whether Netflix was worth it after the last round of price hikes. Just watch crunch the numbers, and they seem to conclude, no, Netflix isn't worth it. In the US and the UK, Netflix does not have the highest rated shows, nor does it have the highest number of shows, and it's often the most expensive platform. Surprisingly, Amazon Prime Video did much better. But now, onto RPGs and bundles because it's been a good week. The bundle of holding has two cult divinity lost deals, and they must be one of the best horror games of all time. At Humble, there's a big deal from Raw 20 and Drive Through RPG with everything for your adventures, and that has very many core rule sets. And lastly, from Geek Native, and for listeners in the UK, there's a chance to win Apex Legends, the official cookbook. That's right, food and computer games, and there are about a few weeks left to enter. As usual, you can find the links in the show notes. And lastly, just to let you know, stay safe, keep dry, and I'll see you next week.